Oh my goodness! I am your knight! <laughs> Shut this house down! I would not even try it! Who the hell are you for me not to talk to? Why well, I'm your elder sister! The elder sister, my foot, our ancestors! Well done! Okay. I will say whatever it is I have to say to you! Okay! Very good! Why do you have to She's not going to withdraw anything! I am not! Chris! You are mad! Are you? You stop me! No! Are you stop me! Are you stop me! What is even wrong with you? Look at this one! Are you sick of stop me? Look at what is wrong with you? Are you sick of stop me? Get out from it! Are you crazy? Look at this one! You are crazy! 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 She said her flight is by nine. Hello, Cheesy. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I guess I overslept. Huh? You mean your your flight was changed to eight a.m.? Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. I'll get dressed now. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Oh my goodness. Oh. Six missed calls. Oh my days. Huh, come in. Good morning, sis. Good morning, sis. Ah, I'm still in bed. Yeah. Lazy you. Yeah, I always slept. What's happening? She just said she has been calling you. I just finished speaking with her. I mean, six missed calls. She gave me six missed calls. She said her flight was changed from 9 to 8 a.m. Yeah. And they're going to leave any moment from now, so we have to be at the airport My to pick her up. My goodness, it's almost 7.30. Okay, um, let me freshen up, okay? All right, I'll okay. wait for you. Hurry up. Why is daddy doing this to me? What is it? Mm, you know that when I asked daddy to give me money, just 50,000 naira, and he promised to give me the money this morning before leaving for work. And now he has left without giving me the money. Is that all? Mm, which one is that? Is that all? Is it not enough for me to get angry with daddy? You don't have to get angry. Did he say he would not give you the money? He said this morning. And this is morning. He has gone without giving me the money. Wait until your father comes. Okay. Wait. Ah. Mommy, I cannot wait. I have to go to the office and get the money because I want to make use of the money. I, I need that money very urgently. Amaka, I can see that your madness has started again. Mommy, I don't have time. serious about it then I can speak to them they will commence with um, the preparation if you kick start you see that it's, it's what it's, it's something that you make profit on overall overall this was that when you invest you won't even see your money talk more of profit uh, so yeah you're good man. it's fine so then tell me where is she now 
Oh, she has gone. My girl, <laughs> she has gone. Gone back? Why? Ah, she's done with her project here now. More guy. If you see this girl. <laughs> if you see this girl. I said I wasn't going to tell you until you see her. Hey. I have finally found my missing link. Are you serious? Last bus stop. Wow! That is good for you, brother man! <laughs> big, 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 big congratulations, man! Man, I'm super happy for you, man. I'm so, so, so happy. Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> Whoa, you are the man, bro. You are the man. Well, um, as for me, I am not ready to settle down now. Yes. Because I've got a lot of exploit to make as a young man. Which, which exploit that you've not made? Which exploit I want me? Is My, it big ways, slim mm, ways you have uh, uh, exploited? Listen to me, this life is one. Yeah. All right? So I don't need to rush mine. I think it's very early. So, so early for me to settle down now. <laughs> why, why, why should I even settle down now? Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me tell you the truth. Eh? You're deceiving yourself. So you think you still have time. For your mind, not time, day. You're, you still call yourself a young man. That you give yourself more more years to settle down. I deceive myself. I deceive myself. I swear that. Hear this. Time does have to play with me. Time must wait for me. Let me tell you, Danny, I have all the time in the world to do or achieve whatever I want to achieve. All right? Notwithstanding, I will get married, but that will be when I'm close to, let me say, um, 50. Yeah. I think 50 is a good uh, age, you know. 50 years. <laughs> this guy. You're so serious. How? No, Allah. Just wait till your children start calling my own children uncle. That's, me, that's when you know the time. Listen, 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 listen. In this marriage thing, overtaking is allowed. Mm -hmm. No, we who first married the first born, no. So I'm mean? just telling you. Besides, Seth, where is he even written? Mm -hmm. It's not even scriptural that you must get married. It's not written anywhere. My, my good friend, you know, I cannot advise you wrong. Settle down. All this, your girls, where you and they do harder, 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 harder. Find one person and settle down. That one person you will call your own. Mm. and start raising kids. At least when we have this kind of meeting, we will talk about business. They also talk about family. Everything will balance. Stop deceiving yourself, saying there is time. There is this time, no deal. Time. They are marrying up the good women. <laughs> no, no, it's not true. The one where the men are nanyash. Have you not heard that the beautiful ones are not yet born? I'm waiting for those beautiful ones until they are born. <laughs> Back with my sister. Personalizing it, we missed you. You two fights, calm down. Poor I don't calm understand down. you. Oh, you drag me now. Ah, <laughs> please stop it. <laughs> yes. See, girls, girls, truly, I had an amazing time while training. I mean, the experience was so beautiful. I, I didn't know it was going to be different, but come on, girls. I had such a good time. Okay, can you just tell us about the guy you spoke about? Hey! I want to hear about him. BBC camera woman. What? You know you never give up on a program. Change from what? Yeah. What is it? How? Everything you want to hear. You guys have asked me before. I told you to calm down. Uh -huh. I will give you the gist. Now, small, small now. No. no. We want to hear the gist now. Of course. Wait, though. You mean you girls don't even want to hear my experience? Mm -mm. Everything that... Tessie, I thought she was hiding something from us, right? Of course. Uh, exactly. Uh, mm. You've told us about your training experiences, oh blah, 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 blah. We want to know about the other side of life. The guy. I am not saying anything. If you don't want to tell us, rest. Okay, now. Me and Seth, I don't rest. I bet tell us, dog. Tell us, what is it? Tell us about the guy. Okay, 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 okay. I gave up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna break the good news to you. See, uh, my ears are wide open. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time I want to talk about him, there's just this. Hi, baby. <laughs> I am fine. Come on, darling, I called you when I landed. I ought to be home now. Yes, I'm home. 
everybody is fine. <laughs> they are here. They won't kill me with just me if I'm tired. <laughs> you know what? We have a lot of catching up to do. So you give me some time. I'm just going to give them a little bit of our experience and then I'll call you back later, okay? <laughs> All right. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Oh, so, girls. So, we were talking about him. Yeah. Ha! Yes. Tell us, cheesy. Tell us. What should be ha? Kuna take a miss. Tell us about him now. You don't do. So, as I was saying. Amaka! Mommy! Where are you going to? Mommy, I told you I want to go to daddy's office. You dare not step out of this compound. Did you hear me? Mommy, what is it now? What have I done? I just want to go to daddy's office and get the money I asked him to, to, to give me. Amaka, you heard me. Do not step an inch out of this compound. You think you are stubborn, right? Mommy, I don't understand all this, so I don't even understand. What have I done now? I just want to go to my father's office and get money. Okay, in fact, I know what to do. Let me call my brother. Ah, the baby will start complaining to him, telling me I'm very stubborn. Ah, I want to go and get money from daddy. Is it too much? Belts, please. You don't just. How can you come into a car and you're not wearing your seatbelt? I don't understand. Also, I don't like to carry you in my car. I don't like it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Meanwhile, you see all those things Cheesy has been telling us about the guy. The guy she met? Trust me. All na lie. They are all lies. Blunt and lie. I'm telling you. Why wouldn't I think so? Why wouldn't I think so? I mean, come on now. Come on. Come on. Use your senses. Use your brains. Uh, listen, I came into this world before you guys. I'm not, I'm not a child. I know when someone is lying. And I can tell you categorically that she did not meet any guy. Now lie. But I don't think she's able to just come up with those stories. You don't think so because you have a dull brain. You have a coconut head. You don't have sense. No, I know you don't have sense. See, let me tell you something. I know her more than you do. I know this girl. This girl is my sister. We are sisters. Yes, I came into this world like I said before you guys. So I can tell you. See, let me tell you something. She, she, she's just like her mother. Like sister. mother, like daughter. Like daughter, like mother. What is this star? What is this star? What? I, I don't know, but I don't think she'll come up with stories just to make us feel inferior. I mean, I can never feel inferior to anybody. So it's actually none of my business if you ask. Shut up your mouth! Shut up! If I clean your mouth, clean it! Who is feeling inferior? No, no. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you to feel inferior? Shut up your mouth! Who are you to feel inferior? Look at this one. Look at look at. See, small, small yash they shake. Oh. Small yash they shake. Look at you. Last born. What do you even know? What do you know? Yes, we are sisters. Yes. I got your back. I care about you guys. Okay? What? She is nothing. Let me tell you something. Listen up, listen up. I am telling you this because we are sisters. But I am more superior. I am your elder sister. You guys are still little. I mean, very little, little, very little. Now, listen up. Listen up. All we have discussed, I don't want you to tell Cheesy anything. If I hear anything, eh, I will conk your sense. What did you say? I said I am not going to say anything. Speak out loud. What did you say? I would not say anything. I've heard you. Listen, we are sisters, okay? I got you guys back. But I just want you to know who is who. 
Listen up. I want you to know who is who. Get it. Get it. Be smart. Lady Christie. You are too much. You see, ask me why you're too much. Why? Each time I come here, I feel relaxed. Just because of the way you do your things. You just keep shouting empty praises at me. Just keep telling me how beautiful I look. And an empty hand. What did you bring for me when you were coming? Every day, so from one story to another. Yeah. You can just look, you like talking. I need maintenance money. All those back hand cards, you don't even count on them. You see, the other time I bought you a plate of food and a bottle of drink, I you know I'm ready to buy more. Have you forgotten who I am? Papa Luva. Mm. Papa Luva. Yeah. I'm waiting. serious about this guy she met during her travel. I think she's telling the truth. <laughs> a businessman. A rich businessman. He has proposed to her already? <laughs> what she was going to. She's is not at home. Mm -mm. She's not in her room and I've checked the whole house. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs> so Chizzy left this house without telling us her sisters, right? Chizzy left this house without telling me, her elder sister. Uh, didn't I tell you? I knew it. There is something cheesy is hiding. I know. I I know those things. We should just wait for her till she comes back. It's not that serious. No, no, no. Look at your mouth. No, look at your mouth. It's not that serious. What does she want to tell us? Lies. Of course, lies. And as usual, I can never trust cheesy. That your sister, chameleon, Kame. In fact, if you see snake and see cheesy, key cheesy. Ah, I don't mean it that way. I mean, she's just... Her name is Mrs. Linus. She knows how to lie. She knows how to lie. But don't worry. I know what to do. <laughs> Sister, I, I don't know, but for me, I, I don't like condemning people without... Without evidence. Yes. A... You're just a goat. A goat. You are, you, are, you are too dull. You are a fool, lo, 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 a fool. I don't know why I have a sister like you. You have a dull brain. 
Why don't you mm. make use of your this this brain, this this coconut head? Yeah, what are you using it for? To eat just to eat in this house. Get out of here. What did I do? Ice. What am I even, what am I even doing here? Look at this, excuse me. No sense. Use your, don't use your brain well. Goat. That she's calling me dull brain. No dull, no. I'm very, very smart. I came back yesterday. Oh, you're welcome, bro. Thank you. No. Who is this man I always see you with each time I come to your shop? Why do you ask such questions? He's my customer. His customer. Eh? Every time I come here, you guys are sitting in a very funny position, chit chatting and laughing. Is that how you laugh with all your customers? It's very different because I don't see other people sitting down like this with you. Cheesy. He is my customer. What else do you want to hear? I, I know why I'm saying this. I know why I'm saying it. Any question? Yes. Oh, thank you very oh, thank much. Thank you very much. I don't want. Thank you. Give me. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why you are being so stupid. The reason I'm saying all this is because I want you to come back home. We miss you. I, I, I will talk to Daddy. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Please. Jesus. Nothing will make me go back to Chitezu. I love the kind of life I'm living now. What life? No, Mama, I'm asking you, what life? Is this? Take a look around you. Is this what you call life? Mama, this is not life. Or you think it's right for a woman to leave her husband's house and just do whatever she wants? Go ahead. And what? And what? Say it. Look here, Chizaba. You are my daughter. And I will not have you talk to me the way you are doing now. Whatever you like to tell me, Mama, I will say my truth. I will continue to say it. Father is a good man. And I'm a bad woman, isn't it? I didn't say that to you. That's not what I said. It's okay. Chizaba Ezuko. I can see that you came here to embarrass me. Now, go back to your good father and leave me the way I am. Mama, calm down now. That is. At least let's just talk. I came here for a reason. We haven't even talked. Excuse me. Mama, you don't have to. Go to. I um I went to visit my mom. Your mom? Yeah. And your face is looking like that. Hmm? You won't understand. I won't understand. Every time I won't understand. I knew that was what you wanted to say. I just brought it out of your mouth. I know you don't want to tell me where you went to, but it's fine. You don't want to tell me what happened there. I don't know what I don't know what is wrong with you. And you will go out without even telling me. Huh? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, 
don't understand you. I don't understand. Every time I want to understand. I want to understand, I want to understand. What will I understand? What will I ever understand? Huh? Thank you. Tessie, come to my room now. Now. Tell you where she went to. <laughs> she said she went to see her mother. Lie of the millennium. That girl can lie for the whole world. But you know me. You know your sister. I will find out about her whereabouts. You know me. I think I should just go and talk to her. It'll be better. No. Let me get you a speaker so you go to the junction and shout it loud. Why would you do that? No, why would you do that, Amebo? Radio without battery. You want a gun? <laughs> Look at your mouth. You want a gun and call her? Don't you ever call my name. Don't you even think of mentioning my name. You want to go and ask her. Did I send you a message? I used to send you a message. I'm sorry. I've sorry heard for you. yourself. I have heard you. Now go. Are you asking me out of your I said go. I'm sorry. I'm not joking. Go. Go. I'm busy. Go already. Get out. Really? Hello? She hey, sister. Oh. <sighs> Just left the house without saying anything, and it sounded like you. I was worried. I'm sorry. You know, there's no way I would leave the house without telling you, but I had to quickly leave. Where did you go to? I went to see my mom. Mm. How is she doing? She's fine. She's... You don't look happy. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay, Tessie. I don't know, but my mother just a way of, of getting me angry. No matter how hard I try to, to make things right. I don't know. It's fine. It's okay. You're here? Yes, I'm here. Tessie, come with me now. Now, we're discussing something. I said now. Sister, I think you should call Sister. If I What are you telling Cheesy? How? What do you mean by how? Is this a question and answer section? Listen up, Tessie. I saw the way your mouth, your lip 
was moving. Obviously, you were gossiping about me with my name. You know how much I hate gossips. I do not like it. Especially when it concerns me. I mean, come on. So what were you telling her? I don't understand. I wasn't saying anything. If I conquer your sense, eh? You will remember. What were you telling her? I wasn't saying anything. Rather, she was the one telling me about her visit to her mother. Ah, sister, if I may ask, why are you so disturbed by Cheesy? Ever since she came back, I've seen how restless you are. Why? Are you mad? I ask, are you mad? No, look at me. I am your big sister. I have nothing to be worried about. Nothing worries me. Nothing disturbs me. So I am not disturbed about Cheesy. Who is Cheesy? What is her son name? My father's name. Excuse me? Of course, my father's name. But who raised her? I don't know. Now you listen to me. Nothing. Nothing can ever disturb me. I'm only disturbed, like you said, about how you gossip about me. That's all. Huh? The next time I walk on you guys discussing about me, <laughs> I will make living in this house miserable for you. She's so evil, like a viper's name. Oh yes. Uh, prepare cucumber, um, apple, and um, banana fruit salad for me. Okay. Okay, sir. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, sir. My beautiful India. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Dad. You, you're looking worried. Is anything bothering you? Yes, Dad. Father, I would gladly say that you are the best thing that has happened to me. You are a father anyone would wish to have. You've been a good man and you've loved me effortlessly as a child. And from the deepest part of my heart, I appreciate it. But Father, there is something missing in my life. Something missing? What is it? My mom. You know, I... I remember all the stories you told me about her infidelity, everything she did. But I believe by now she must have learned her lessons. I just want to know if she comes back and apologizes to you, would you take her back? Please. Please, Father, please. <clears throat> Cheesy. You know I love you so much. And there is practically nothing you will ask of me that I will not do. So long as it is within my capability. You see, your mother and I separated over 20 years ago. That's a pretty long time. Moreover, you just said it now. The reason for our separation. Infidelity. So, according to tradition, there is no way, absolutely no way, that I will be able to accept her back. You need to understand that. All I'm asking is, is just to get a positive answer from you. That you married three wives. Two are gone. My mother is the only one left. 
I just, I, I feel it's a sign. I, yeah, I, I, you know, she, she didn't even remarry since she left. I, I just feel that you two can come back. It's going to make a whole lot of difference, please. My daughter, you won't understand. I know you're saying this out of emotions. But what you're asking for is deeper than what you know or what you're thinking right now. Okay? This is impossible. And by the way, I assume you've been seeing her from time to time. True or false? My mother is the cause of all this. I have urged her countless times to visit here, but she refused. She has always been the problem. That's why, because you really don't want to call her and start complaining that Amaka did this, Amaka did that. I didn't do anything, I just asked her to give you small money, just small 60,000 naira. You didn't give you the money? It's not as if you didn't want to give me the money. The mommy stopped me from giving me the money. That's why he left to office without giving me that money. It's okay. I'll give you the money. I don't want you to keep quarreling with our parents. It's not nice. You should know the way you present things to them. It's not nice quarreling with them now, all the time. It's okay. It's just that mommy doesn't want to understand me sometimes. Then you make her understand. It's not when she's talking, you're talking. Thank you. Hmm? I've heard you. I know you'll do it for me. That's why I came. Right. Oh, here it comes. My baby. <laughs> Hi, darling. My How are you? It's my younger sister. Oh. And it's my. Our wife to be cheesy. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hi. Okay, I'll be on my way. Thank you so much. It's fine. I'll send you the money, okay? Bye. Did Amaka tell you where she was going to? She did not. That girl has started again. She's angry because of the 50,000 naira she has been demanding from you. Hmm. Would that be a problem? I will give her if she comes back. If that is a problem. Did you ask her what she will use the money for? Because she doesn't lack anything in this house. Does she? Honey, do I need to ask her? But if you insist, I will ask her. There's no need. She will lie to you. Yes, you overpampered her in the past. That is why she misbehaves. You don't have to give her all she wants. There you go again. Huh? If I didn't pamper my only daughter, who else? Huh? No, tell me now. She's her only daughter. You are spoiling her, you know. You are spoiling that girl. Like I said, you don't have to give her everything she wants, always. You don't. Don't do that. So, honey, giving my daughter what she wants, does that mean I'm spoiling her? It means you're spoiling her. Yes. Make her understand that life is not a bed of roses. Tomorrow she will get married. I might not cope with the husband because of the training you gave her today. I don't know why you are sounding this way. I want to remind you that she is the only daughter we have. Huh? So, if, if if I cannot show her love, who else will I show love? Or will they go and do even your name? I've said my own. Do not point accusing finger at me when the time comes. I know why I'm saying this. You are spoiling her. You are spoiling her. No problem. I'm not going to uh, point any accusing finger to anybody. I will bear the consequence. Okay. It's a wild Okay. She's my daughter. Um, are you saying the girl you just introduced to me is your younger sister? Yes. 
and you're just acting normal like you didn't notice what happened. Why is she not happy with me? Sorry, I didn't notice what happened. Really? You did not notice her attitude towards me? Oh, babe, you don't, you don't have to mind Amaka. Amaka wasn't having it before you came. She's <sighs> having issues with my parents and nothing. Babe, you were not observant enough. I know what I'm saying. The moment you said this is my wife to be, her mood changed. My love, trust me. Amaka was already angry before you came. Okay, don't don't mind her mood. Right? Okay, if you say so. So how's your dad? He's fine. He's doing okay. Okay, tell him I'll be coming to see him this week. Um, precisely on, on Saturday. That is so good to hear. Of course, I'll tell him. Saturday, right? Yes, okay. Saturday. I'll tell him. And your mom as well. I just want to finalize everything. And You know, um, seeing my dad, it's, it's okay. But um, I, I think we should leave my mom for now. Okay. Whichever <laughs> way you want it. Thank you. That's fine. Beautiful. I know. You know, sometimes I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh my God, is this cheesy? Damn, girl, you are beautiful. <laughs> but you are, you are. Of course I know. But thank you. <laughs> and then I already told you I don't like red wine. But because you're selfish, you like it, you always get it for I me. I just want you to get used to my drink when I get used to your food. <laughs> <laughs> coming from? Mommy, I went out. You went out? Yes. And you did not tell me or your father? Mom, I'm sorry. What do you have in that bag? I am asking you, Amaka. What do you have in that bag? Clothes. Clothes? Let me see. Ah, what, what do you want to see? I'm telling you it's clothes and you're telling me what Come on, see. will you bring it? Let me see. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Fast. Who gave you money to buy all this? My brother. He sent me money yesterday. So Your brother sent you money yesterday? Yes, mommy. I, ah. can't, I can't believe you. Oh, you think I stole your money? Ah. Mommy, I did not know. You can call him and confirm. Exactly he sent me what money I'm trying yesterday. to do now. Let me call him first. Yeah. Yo. I don't understand why you don't trust me. Why will I steal your money? Shut up. Mommy, give me my clothes. Mommy, mommy. Stop mommy, it. Mommy, stop, mommy, stop that. Give me my clothes. Stop that. What's oh, you're dragging it with me. Stop it. Stop it. Can you imagine this girl? She traveled from here to my son's house just to beg him for money. Ha. Are you not ashamed of yourself? I, mean, I don't understand this one you are saying I travel. I went to my brother's house. Is it a crime for me to go to my brother's house and ask for money? Is it not my brother? You do, yeah. I will slap hell out of you if I hear such comments from you again. Amaka. 
Daddy. Did I tell you I will not give you the money you requested from me? You did not. Mommy said so you are not going to give me the money. So that was why I went to my brother's house. Yeah. What did you use the money to do at the end of the day? To buy this nonsense in the name of dress? Look at them. I bet you. You will never set your eyes on them again. I will. Oh, will you stop that? I'm a gang. All right, get inside. Get inside. Get inside. I'm not hearing him. Will you get out of here? Useless girl. You see? Let me see those clothes. Uh, no, I will not even show it to you. I'm going to bomb all of them. This story about Jesus' fiance is gradually becoming a reality. If a man can take a woman to such a shopping, then he is seriously in love with her. No, this is not happening. No. What was she staring at me like that as if she was reading my mind? I picked that up again. Okay. Why was she staring at me like that as if she was reading my thoughts? I don't trust that Tessie. She is a chameleon. And I am beginning to suspect her. I have my eyes on her. So how was work today, Daddy? Well, work was fine. And you're sure you did not stress yourself again? Ah, come on. Work is always stressful. But as you know, your dad has the capability to withstand the stress. Mm. <laughs> I know, that's my father. <laughs> Daddy. Yes. There is something I want to talk to you about. I promise I won't take your time. I'll be very brief. Please. Jesus. I hope it's not about your mother again. <sighs> Come on, Dad. Does everything have to be about my mom? No. It has to do with a guy I met. I met him while I was on my industrial training. And he has asked me to marry him. And I said yes. He, he wants to come see you this Saturday. This coming Saturday? Yes, Mother. Hmm. Now tell me, where is he from? He's from Amako. Amako. Hmm. What does he do for a living? He is a businessman, Father. He deals on industrial materials. Building materials. It's alright. Let's uh, wait till he comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Father. You like him. Really? He's a very nice young man. Like I said, let's wait till he comes. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you watching now? Look at this program again. Talk to her. This girl is becoming something else. I told her I would not give her those clothes again. It's okay, mommy. I'm sorry. Okay? Please, forgive her on my behalf. This girl you're saying, she's still a baby. Who Look. is a baby? How old is she today? <laughs> you are calling her a baby? <laughs> Uh, mom, mom, it's okay. No matter what, she's still a baby. Hmm? You have to know the kind of clothes you buy for yourself. Stop buying those skimpy wears. You see, his mom is not happy about it. You should stop. Buy responsible clothes. Like this one you're wearing is it's responsible. Not those skimpy ones. Okay? Okay, I'll pay you. It's okay. I'll make sure she gives you back the clothes. 
but you're not wearing it out. You wear it at home, not out. You don't wear those skimpy clothes out. Right? Okay, thank you. Eh, now, what would you want to eat? Let me prepare something for you. Okay. You're fine. No, maybe next time. Next time? How can you not eat anything? Fine, I just ate. It's not, not quite long. Uh -huh. Damn, my son. What are you still waiting for? You ought to have married by now. Eh? Or if you're finding it difficult, I can help you get someone. Oh, don't worry, I'm, I'm on it already. You're on it already? Exactly what you told me the last time I came to your house. You're on it. Oh, yeah. I want to carry my grandchildren. I'm more, I'm more serious now. I'm on it now. You're on it, Dan. Yes. Please, you have to do fast. Do fast and get married. I, I just need to carry my grandchildren. Now you going to possibly be married. Mechion, shut up. Ah, Dara, my sister. <laughs> You're welcome. My big brother. So, Thank you. Yeah. And so, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good. So what of you? Your children and your husband? As you can see, we are fine. We're doing very well. What about your daughters? It's like they are not around. Oh yes, they went out. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome now. Didi, how are you? I'm fine now. Uh, Didi. Yes, sir. Go and get us something. Okay, sir. Whoa. Because when you move like this, you are just like the proverbial toad. He doesn't move in the day for nothing. Thank God, <laughs> At least you will understand by the time I start or finish. Okay, tell me. Okay. I will go straight to the reason why I am here. Yes, I have been very disturbed over this issue for a long time. Really? Yes, brother. What could that be? Brother, it is high time you caught yourself another wife. Look at the girls. Even as I speak to you, you are alone. They are all grown. They will soon be married. And they will leave you for their husband's house. Brother, you and I know that you need a male child. Somebody that will carry our lineage when you are gone. Thank you, my sister. You are not wrong in your thoughts you know you're not far from the truth however i i have remained single for a long time because uh, of the ugly experiences i had with the three women i married in the past okay. uh, the last one that would have given me a little bit of reprieve died during childbirth so to tell you the truth, I, I am a little bit scared of remarrying. That's the truth. Chief, I totally do understand. But I also want you to understand that it's not your fault. You understand? Let's be honest. You need a male child. Someone that will be able to carry this name on when you are gone. You will not say because of the ugly experience. Then you will give up. No. As a matter of fact, I will advise you leave the ugly experience behind and focus on the future. There is a paper. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My point is, I can actually help you get a good woman. A good woman that will be there and understand, you know, the values of being a wife. That will make a good wife for you. It's alright. Uh, I've heard you. Mm -hmm. I've heard you. Um, I will give it a thought. Okay? That's a big relief. I'm pleased to do. Be quick too about it. I will. Oh, yeah. Anybody? There's nobody there. Did you check very well? Yes, I did. Nobody there. Sister, you see why I was telling you to pick his call that time? We don't know why he was calling. Oh, shut up! I think you should call him. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Switched off. Oh. I think you should try again. Probably it's network. What are you still doing here? Why are you standing here like a moron? Out! I said... You want to say what? Switch to Why? Hold on, please. Can you just leave this place? Not you. Leave here! What is wrong with you? Sorry. It's not my switch to Switch it off. I thought he called so few minutes. Try again, try again. It's network. Try again. Don't give up that way. You don't have to give up. 